guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what is, hold on. Today I'm going to be doing a story time mukbang. So, I got Lay's. And I got me a diet snapple. It is lem, lem, lemon large, it says. So lemon. But today I'm going to be doing a story time on the time that I got a gun pulled on me. I don't, I don't know if you'd say pulled or flashed, but you'll understand when the story starts. Okay, let me just open these first. I got my drink. Chips. Usually I put like tapatio or something on these, but that's been hurting up my stomach, so I'm not gonna be doing that. So basically, what happened was this was all happened last August, I believe it was. And so basically it was my grandpa's funeral that day, that evening. I mean my dad had some errands to run. We had to go to like Costco to get some lights and stuff because the repast was here. So we went out and we had to stop at the bank first, I believe. Yeah, that was the first place we went. So he was like, okay, I'm gonna go inside and uh, pull some money out real quick and you wait here. So I was like, all right. Or no, he said, do you want to go inside or do you want to wait with me? So I was like, eh, I'll just wait. and. Uh, so I got on his phone, and I was on the phone with my cousin, right? And we're just chilling, talking and stuff, right? And so, I'm thinking this way. And then, I'm on the phone like this, and I'm facing this way. And someone pulls in their car, right in front of me. So a parking spot directly in front of me, but they're facing me. They didn't back it in, they are facing me. And it was a guy and a girl, and they were just chilling. And then when they pulled up, you could tell, like, they just started arguing, like, real bad. They started, like, yelling at each other real bad. So I'm just sitting there minding my own business. I kind of put my seat down a little more so that it didn't seem like I was staring at them because I was on the phone. And I was telling my cousin, I was like, yeah, um, these people are just arguing, like, going off. And the guy was in the passenger seat. The lady was driving. And then I was like, okay, so I was talking there. I'll just leave them alone. Don't worry about it. So I was like, okay, so they're arguing, arguing. I'm not paying attention no more. So I see something like in the corner of my eye, I see something go like this. So I was like, what the heck? So I look, and this man starts beating on her bad. Like, he starts hitting her, and she's screaming, stop, stop, stop. And then finally he's hitting her, and I'm like sitting there like, what should I do? And I was on the phone, I was like, what should I do? And they're like, don't, uh, lock your doors and don't say nothing. Just mind your own. So I was like, okay. So I leaned my chair back and I was just laying there and I was like, dang, dude. So, um, then he, uh, takes the keys and he leaves. He takes the keys, get it out of the car, and he just takes off, just walking. So I was like, what the heck? So then I'm sitting there, I'm like, um, what should I do? And, like, cars around were like, they would stop me, like, are you okay, ma'am? And she's like, I need a phone, I need to call someone to come get me. So then I was like, hold on guys, so I hung up and I got out the car and I was, I handed her the phone and I was like, I have a phone you can use real quick, you can call them. So she gets on the phone and she's calling them. And as we're standing there in the parking lot, she's on the phone with them, with whoever she's calling, and crying and telling them that she needs someone to pick her up. A full water bottle comes flying over the car. It almost hits us and slides across the floor. I was like, what the heck? And her, the guy she was with, her boyfriend, was walking back, all mad, yelling, Who's handing out phones? Who's handing out phones? Who's letting her use this phone? And I was like, me, I'm letting her use it real quick. And he was all, don't you know how to mind your own business? And he kept calling me little white boy, for some reason, because they were both black. But he just kept saying, you borrowing phones from this little white boy? And he gets in her face and she's like, stop, stop, on the phone with her cousin, or whoever she called. And I'm sitting there like, dang, like, this is about to go off or something's about to happen. So I'm standing there and he's like, little white boy, I'm talking to you. And I was like, bro, I'm letting her use it real quick. And, and then, he lifts up his shirt and he said, do you want to hand stuff out now? And he lifts up his shirt and I saw it. 
and then he was like starting to reach for it. So I was running in the bank, and the workers were right there. I was like, hey, um, there's someone outside. He's beating on his girlfriend, and I was trying to get their attention, and none of them believed me. They just looked at me like, like this. And I was like, are you guys serious? And she's out there, like, about to get killed by him. And I was like, and my dad told, dude, what's going on? And I was like, crap, dude. She still has the phone. So I was like, damn it. So we went outside, me and my dad. And my dad's all, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Because, uh, ow. Because the, the girl had the phone last before I ran inside. And she was like, he smacked me and it flew somewhere. And my dad was, like, trying to figure out where his phone was at. And... So we're just sitting there, and we're looking for it, and looking for it, and then finally, my dad finds it, and she was right, he smacked, he smacked her so high, the phone flew into a bush. So we found the phone, and we're like, let's just get out of here, because, and they're still bickering back and forth, and she snatched the keys from him. So when we got in our car, she got in her car, and she, was, uh, she left, she drove off real quick, but I was like, dang, my dad was like, I understand she was hitting on, he was hitting on her, like beating her, but you can't step in, because whenever there's domestic violence, never step in, because when you're that mad, you don't know what you're going to do, especially when love is involved, and also, like, you can step in and call, and, like, fight the guy, but it's, it doesn't matter, because Within a little bit, the girl's going to go running back to him. She's going to be with him again. Even though, that's why these relationships happen. Because they just keep running back and back. Even though they keep getting beat and hurt and cheated on. For some reason, love does that to you. But yeah, that mess was crazy and scary. And I was like, imagine if he would have, if he was like a little bit more crazy, if he would have just shot me. Only because I let her borrow the phone to call. To, to have someone pick her up. Because he stole the keys from her. You know? That was just crazy, but... I don't know. I haven't heard from her. I never. I didn't even call the number back that she had called. To, like, see if she was good. Because I was like, just leave it, you know? But that man was just scary. I don't even know how that man got home. And I just remember, like, after everything was done. And there was, like, a... I wouldn't say like a big crowd, but there's a bunch of people standing around, like right where we were at, a bunch of people all around, like like looking around, like trying to figure out what was happening. Like everyone was just watching and stuff. That mess was scary though, like my heart was beating fast and the worst thing about the whole situation was that the no one inside even believed me. They were just like, uh and I don't know what happened that day though. But usually they have a guard out front, but I don't think the guard was there that day. Or at that time, because it was early in the morning, usually the day in the evening. Well, at least I think so. But yeah, I'm just so scared. And I feel bad for that girl. Yeah. Well, she's probably still with them if you think about it. <laughs> that ain't my business. Huh? But yeah, guys, I'm going to hop off, my, off of this video. Because, I don't know if y'all know this, but today's my birthday. And they got something planned for me. I don't know if I'm going to record it, though. But, yeah, today's my 18th birthday. So, I'm about to get up out of here. And we're going to go have some fun. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you need more, if you want more story times, I don't know if you guys like this or not. More of things and story times, I'm down. I have a bunch of stories I could tell. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know if you want more of these. I'm down for anything. Okay. Catch y'all later, guys. Peace.